Hi guys, my name is Chester Kurin James. I am from Civil Department in Trinity College of Engineering, Tiruvannathapuram. Let's study about biochip. What is a biochip? A biochip is a set of diminished microarrays that are placed on a strong substrate that allows many experiments to be executed at the same time to obtain a high throughput in less time. This device contains millions of sensor elements or biosensors, not like microchips, these are not electronic devices. Each and every biochip can be considered as a microreactor that can detect a particular analyte like an enzyme, protein DNA, biological molecule or antibody. The main function of this chip is to perform hundreds of biological reactions in a few seconds like decoding genes. Let's look at the pictures of biochip. Now let's study about the working principle of a biochip. The working principle of biochip mainly includes the following steps. The first step is that the operator generates a low power electromagnetic field through radio signals. Then the fixed biochip gets turned off. The activated chip then transmits the identification code reverts to the operator through radio signals. Then the reader strengthens the received code to change it into digital form and finally exhibits it on LCD. Now let us look at the components of biochip. Mainly the components of biochip it is categorized into two, transponder and reader. The transponder is further classified into four, computer microchip, antenna coil, charging of the tuning capacitor, glass capsule. Now let's look at the transponder. Transponders are of two types, namely active transponder and passive transponder. This is a passive transponder, which means that it doesn't contain any of its own energy or battery. Whereas in passive, it is not active until the operator activates it by giving it a low electrical charge. This transponder consists of four parts such as antenna coil, microchip, glass capsule and a tuning capacitor. The computer microchip stores a unique identification number that ranges from 10 digits to 15 digits long. The antenna coil is very small, primitive and this type of antenna is used to send and receive the signals from the scanner or reader. The charging of the tuning capacitor can be done with a small signal that is 1 by 1000 of a watt which is sent by the operator. The glass capsule holds the antenna coil, capacitor and microchip and it is made with a biocompatible material namely soda lime glass. Next we can learn about a reader. The reader comprises of a coil namely exciter and it forms an electromagnetic field through radio signals. It offers the required energy that is less than 1 by 1000 of a watt to activate the biochip. The reader carries a receiving coil for receiving the ID number of transmitted code sent back from the excited implanted biochip. Now let's look at the types of biochips. The biochips are categorized into three. They are DNA microarray, microfluidic chip and protein microarray. Now let's look at the DNA microarray. A DNA microarray or a DNA biochip is a set of tiny DNA spores fixed to a strong surface. A researcher utilizes to calculate the expression levels for a number of genes. Every DNA mark comprises picomolecules of particular genes which are termed as probes. This can be a short segment of a genetic material under high rigidity situations. Usually, probe target hybridization is noticed and countered by recognition of fluorophore or chemiluminescence 
labeled targets to decide the relative quantity of nucleic acid series in the target. Innovative arrays of nucleic acid were microarrays, which is about 9 cm into 12 cm, and the initially automated icon based analysis was published in the year 1981. Now let's talk about microfluidic chip. Microfluidic chip, biochips, or lab owned chip are a choice to usual biochemical laboratories and are transforming several applications like DNA analysis, molecular biology procedures, proteomics, which is known as the study of proteins, and diagnostic of diseases. These chips are becoming more complex by using thousands of components, but those components are designed physically called as bottom-up full custom plan, which is a very large workforce. Now let's talk about protein microarray. A protein microarray or protein chip method is used to follow the actions as well as connections of proteins and to find out their function on a large scale. The main advantage of protein microarray is that we can track a large number of proteins in parallel. This protein chip comprises of a surface for supporting like microtitrate plate or bed, nitrocellulose membrane, the glass light. These are automated, rapid, economical, very sensitive, consumes less quantity of samples. The first methodology of protein chips was introduced in antibody microarrays of scientific publication in the year 1983. The technology behind this chip was quite easy to develop for DNA microarrays, which have turned into the most generally used microarray. Now let's look at the disadvantages and advantages of biochip. The advantages of biochip are the biochip is used to rescue the seed, and it is also very small in size which is powerful and faster. Biochips are useful in finding the lost people. Biochips can be used to identify the persons individually. Biochips perform thousands of biological reactions in a few seconds. We all know that everything has its own advantages and disadvantages. And the disadvantages of biochip are these biochips are expensive. Biochip raises dangerous problems of individual privacy. Biochip marks the end of human being, liberty and self-respect. There will be a chance of turning every person into a controlled person. Biochips can be fixed into the human's body without their interference. Now let us look at the applications of biochips. By using this chip, we can trace a person or animal anywhere in the world. This chip is used to store and update the information of a person like medical, financial and demographics. A biochip leads to safe e-commerce systems. These chips are effective in restoring the records of medical, cash, passport, etc. The biochip can be applicable in the medical field as a BP sensor, glucose detector and oxygen sensor. Now we can look now we can look at the conclusion. From the above discussed information finally, we can conclude that biochips are accurate, fast and miniaturized. The biochip space lies at the interaction between chip manufacturing, molecule biology, genomics and signal processing. The market for biochips and its applications has been increased in a number of core research regions and thank you.